Hello Knights fans, welcome back to another edition of the FDU Men's Soccer Report. I'm joined here by head coach Seth Rowland. How are you doing today, coach? Great. So, big game coming up here Sunday. The uh, NEC postseason spot is on the line against Sacred Heart. Talk about uh, the importance of this game, obviously, and um, what your team's uh, keys are to, to coming away with a win. Well, we need to play sharp. We need to be organized uh, defensively and be creative in attack. Uh, no different than how we try to be every game. Uh, the guys are relaxed, very excited, uh, anxious to play, and uh, anxious to try and prove themselves worthy of uh, the fourth spot in the NEC playoffs. So you talked a little bit about the nerves and the anxiousness. Uh, what's going to be your message to the team to try to make sure they stay even keeled and really just focused on the task at hand and don't get too emotional and worked up over it? Well, no message other than just be... Uh, intense but relaxed. It's a good group. They're a very positive group and that's our approach to the game is to uh, come out in a, in a positive, eager manner and try to impose our game onto, uh, onto Sacred Heart. And I know you like to always get ahead if you can, but a lot of low-scoring games this season, a lot of nail-biters. How important will it be to get a first goal uh, against Sacred Heart there on Sunday? Well, anytime you can score first in soccer, it, it, it's helpful and it gives you a confidence boost and is good for morale. So, you know, that's definitely something we'd like to do, but uh, uh, we'll have to see how the game goes. I mean, we're coming out to play our game and, uh, and try to, you know, uh, really uh, come out uh, aggressively in an eager manner and uh, and come away with three points if we can. And we've talked throughout the season the t t t's and the and the, about the youth of the team. Um, talk about how the development of this team across the season and what you've seen, especially from your back line and the midfield with a lot of the underclassmen. Well, we have 13 games where we've allowed one goal or less, um, and and yet our our record uh, could be better, uh, but. It all comes down to this game. You know, we, we defend fairly well as a team, and it's not just the, in goal and back four, but through the midfield and up top pressuring teams. Uh, you know, the only game that matters then is, is this game Sunday, and, and uh, you know, that would, that would do a lot to having us feel that we've really made some significant progress this year. And lastly, Long time been coaching in this NEC conference now. Looking back now, what has been uh, your most memorable moment since you've taken over here in the NEC? Well, look, I've been lucky enough to to coach six NEC championship teams since 2000, and and each of those is each championship victory is a special moment. Starting with 2000 when we won here at FDU 2-0, uh, to the following year when we won in quadruple overtime, sudden death, uh, in 2001 on our way to vaulting us to the Elite Eight um, in the NCAA tournament, and then 2002 and 2003, uh, so winning four in a row, that was special. Then in 2008, we had a great group with current assistant coach Samson Malajani scoring 18 goals and, and winning that championship game by the largest margin in NEC championship history, 7-2. And then in 2012, winning the championship and then going on to the Sweet 16. So there, there are, I'm very lucky and humbled by the fact that, you know, I've been lucky enough to coach great players and have outstanding assistant coaches who've uh, allowed me to have some great moments. But it's not me. It's the FDU soccer program. That's the, the critical thing. So I'm proud that I've been allowed to to be the guy in charge of, uh, of um, a half a dozen and more uh, memorable moments in NEC play. Well, you've definitely had a long list of memorable moments, and hopefully that trend continues and you get another chance to make a run this weekend uh, against Sacred Heart with the win. Um, anything, any last thoughts going into the game that you wanted to express to the fans and the audience? No, I just think we'll be ready and we're coming out 
eager, excited to play, and it's soccer. We'll we'll see what happens. Hopefully, uh, you know, it's always better to be lucky than good, and hopefully uh, we'll be a little lucky this weekend. All right, thanks for your time, Coach. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. The Knights host Sacred Heart in the regular season finale. A victory will send the Knights to the NEC tournament for the first time since 2012. For all information about the FDU Knights and the men's soccer team, head to FDUNites.com.